Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Stranded. Uh, so here we are in the Magic Cave. Uh, this music, by the way, is also from UN Squadron. I think... Is there anything in here? No, there's not. Just that one Wizrobe. Which tells you something. Thank you. Yeah, oh, and these tiles are ice. So get used to half speed. First thing you want to do is go up. Whoa! Yeah. These guys aren't that big a deal as long as you just move out of the way. Just get where there aren't any, you know, gonna, gonna aren't gonna be any. And you're not that far from the door anyway. Luckily, the slash also helps with that. Just move. Really? So yeah, wind ropes. Ugh, they're a thing. Gliok. Just try and dodge. There we go. And you get a compass. Yay! But don't don't head back yet. Instead, you want to come down here and kill all these wizards. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Telefrag! Uh, and we get a key. Very important. And we go up. Hang out for a while in the most southern room. Yes, this is very important to know. And go through here, and... These assholes respawn, so hell, let's just let them... You know, get us back here. Alright, so now we go down. Yeah, it's this again. Good, good. Red whiz robes, do not bother ever using your wand on them again. Okay, that was funny. All right, so come in here. Whoop, more wind robes. Yeah, again. Luckily, these guys really aren't... There are other quests and other places where they will be a much bigger deal. But right now, we're fine. Just don't... Just make sure that you don't get distracted. And that you're never in a crossfire. Oh, thank you. That, that doesn't make it easier, but it makes it less annoying. All right. So, down. Oh, rapture. Yeah, Superman handler. Uh, I'm just going to stay in the door because, yeah. I mean, the other thing you could do is try and make a run for that other doorway. But, um, really not that hard. Okay, so this is the magic cave. Uh, if you're wondering what that is, because it kind of looks like a stylized fish, it's a Wizrobe's magic blast. That was fucking stupid. <sighs> After all the times I have said, oh, hey, it's not that bad. Uh, it really, they really, really aren't that bad. I mean, this is going to be our biggest, and this place is at least really full of guys who like to drop hearts. Just die, could you please? Thank you. See what I mean? Mostly, it's just that this crap is so freaking slow. Uh, the, the, the tile, the ice tiles are just so slow. There we go. Half tile trick is also very nice. Just mostly just get out of their way and Keep whacking them. Ooh, hey. Money. Always nice. Whoa. Yeah, that was almost stupid. Okay. Okay, I don't know why you guys all did that, but... There we go. So that was a thing. 
There's a small gnat in here that's driving me batshit. So, you know, one thing you can do, just stay in the door. It's not like windrobes are hard, but this way, even if you get distracted, you can just, you know, do the thing. Yeah, we can have a we can have 32 bombs right now, by the way. So, uh, yeah. Just keep this up. There we go. I love those clocks. They make life so much easier. And I warn you, this whole place is ice floors, because of course it is. So now what do we do? Well, remember what the guy said? Yeah, we have to wait 15 or 20 seconds, which is longer than you think it is. <laughs> and then something will happen. You, you don't have to... It's not like Earthbound where you have to wait without touching the controller for that length of time. You just have to wait. I think. Well, maybe it's maybe it's more like 30. I don't know. Just keep going. Just keep waiting. There we go. Yeah, that was something like 30 or so. Uh, yeah, so a uh, shitload of wizard robes. Hope you have a key. Not that these guys are that hard, but... Nobody wants to get utterly bum-rushed by Wizrobes. Money, that's nice. You want to get closer and die? Cut rate Dementors. Ugh. Yeah, there's no reason to kill them, but I did anyway. So... And again, might as well, because we're here. So yeah, it looks like it's actually a 30 second wait, good to know. But just be patient and you will get warped to another part of the dungeon. Come on. Die. Slowly and painfully, or quickly and painlessly, I don't care as long as you're dead. Uh. Whoa, okay, fucking bat ropes. And fire ropes. This, this may not be the best place. Uh, I would, at least there aren't any wind ropes. There will be, oh, yeah, shit, never mind, there are wind ropes. Uh, let's kill that asshole fast. There we go. Yeah, you want to be careful. Okay, we got bat ropes, but I'd like to kill this fire rope first. Thank you. Ugh, I hate bat robes. Well, I hate bat robes for a number of reasons, though they really do give you a lot of nice refills. But I could really wish that they didn't freaking uh, blend in with the terrain. They always do. I guess they're set to the same color as the dungeon. It's kind of annoying. Another one of these assholes, and there's no other door to hide in. So really, I would get used to just trying to kill that thing with uh, by having it say do that. So obviously, we can walk through up here. Windrobes. Windrobes don't move. So honestly, you are already on a half tile when you come through the door. So, just stay there and kill them. All right, so that's pretty nice. Windrobes are now an annoyance because you're far enough in, you really don't want to get sent back to the beginning of the dungeon. Ugh, uh, yeah, we may want to try and make it to the door. Oh, God. All right. These aren't, these guys aren't a huge problem, especially now that we have the magic sword, but they're still really annoying, especially when there's this many of them. So yeah, get to a door and start wackalating. You might want to use, the other thing you might want to do 
is use. Especially if you've got like a truckload of them in your way. Thank you. Ow, you're a dick. All right, so now we head down. Hope you got that other key. Good. All right. Keep an eye out for that wind rope. Stay on the half tiles. They won't won't do any good against um half tile tricks will help you against blue whiz robes, red whiz robes and um wind ropes. They will not help against uh bat ropes or fire whiz robes. But fire those guys aren't really as much of a problem. So yes, the best way to avoid bat robe issue or bat robe issue, wind robe issues is stay on the half tiles. Thank you! Ugh, yeah, if you can get a clock in a bat robe room, things get a lot easier. Okay, and we really didn't need to do that, but well. Alright, let's just stay in the door. Kill everybody except the bat robes. Um The only problem, of course, with attacking guys from the door right, yeah, that's uh wind robes are an issue. Or wind robes. Fire robes are an issue. If you're tr uh the only problem with attacking guys from the door in bat robe rooms is that the bats can get in your way and that's kind of a problem. Uh, I would definitely suggest making everybody other than the bat robes your first priority most times. Really didn't need that. Completely empty room and it is the southernmost room of this area so guess what? Hang out again for 30 seconds. So yeah, bat robes, bat robes are kind of, go for other people first. Be bat robes do less damage, bat robes will drop, the, the, their keys drop refills. Pardon me, so take out the wind robe. I would always take out the wind robe first just so he can't get you in the back with one of those whirlwinds and send you all the way back to the beginning of the freaking dungeon. <sighs> so we wait. Just keep waiting. And there we go. And this is what we need. That lower one, I believe, takes you out, but you don't want to take that yet. You want to come in here and just try not to die horribly, which I don't think we have to worry too much because honestly, there we go. Just Once you're on this side of him, yeah. And we get our next magic jar because of course we do in a place called the Magic Cave. Go north, east, south, east to reach the Wicked Fortress. Yeah, I was right. There is in fact another, um... Whoop, that's not the right way. That's the right way. There is another maze path. That that lake is in fact a maze path. So keep that in mind. Okay. So now that we're through here, I'm gonna go back to that fairy lake because ouch. Uh let's see. I'm good on bones. Dick. Alright. Octorox! I'm I'm literally, I'm full up on bombs. Very nice. Uh, pretty good with arrows. I'm not full up on arrows, but I don't really need them, need that many of them. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. So, let's see here. We're, this is, this day is going to run a little short. Because, uh, okay. Dude, again? Okay. So I want to go down and then east. This episode's gonna run a little short because I'm gonna get to the Wicked Fortress and leave off. Because the Wicked Fortress is wicked long. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. At least you gave me a heart back. So yeah, this is actually a 
um, thing. You can just use the feather. This is a maze path. You can just use the feather. So north. East, south, east. But honestly, I just like using the hook shot and the ladder because it's. You're such a dick. All of you guys. Uh, we're having takoyaki for Christmas. I can't think of anything else. I mean, I've eaten just straight octopus. It's really not that bad, but... Okay. So now that we've got the Lens of Truth... I could have sworn... Well, now that we've got the Lens of Truth... Aha! If you're ever suspicious, you know, you can check. And it doesn't use that much magic, especially if you pulse it. Do not try to fight the Octorok nests. Just run. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's very good advice. It's something that will come up in uh, okay, later um, in the Wicked Fortress. All right. Come this way. And... I hate you guys so much. But some of it's my own fault, but thank you. Welcome to the arrow shop. I could... Yeah, sure, it's nine rupees. Why not? Okay, now I'm full up on arrows. <laughs> so, hey. Alright. Continue this way. And... Welcome to the Wicked Fortress. Actually, I think there is a thing on this screen, so let's look for it. Aha! I thought as much. Did you bring your super bombs for the Wicked Fortress? Yeah, you need to have super bombs. So, in fact, that's what you need to open the door. Which I like. I mean, if you're gonna require something, make it so they can't even start without it, rather than, you know, they have to they get through. They get, you know, you get five. I am so glad that worked. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Welcome to the Wicked Fortress. And this is where we're going to... Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah. Uh, crap. So let's go back... Well, we'll go back in, and I'm going to save it immediately. So yeah, welcome to the Wicked Fortress. I'm going to do my outro on this screen. Because that's an Octorok nest. Do not try to fight it. Just run. <laughs> so, next time we will continue on with the Wicked Fortress. Yes, I know this has only been an 18-minute episode. I'm sorry. But there isn't anything else to do. That jar cave or magic cave was really kind of short. Uh, but, you know, uh, you'll get at least 20 minutes. Yes. And, you know, I, I didn't have any hilarious screw-ups this time. So, next time, we will do the Wicked Fortress. And I'm sure you will have a lot more amusing stupidity on my part. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Stranded. And I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. <laughs>